it's all about the passion post. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? I hope it's what Let's talk a little bit. What do you think? What do you want to talk about? Um, me and you. And then, I don't know. We'll go from there and we'll edit it, maybe. Okay. All right. Is it recording? I mean, is it recording? That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. Shenanigans. Jim Nanigans. No, okay, we'll start again. Jim Nanigans. <laughs> <laughs> already a, fucked it up. It's a good outtake, though. I like yeah. it. <laughs> hey everyone I'm Melissa and I'm Scott and welcome to Gymnana Games and this channel is about workout food couples recovery and fun and fun Lots of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yeah. Melissa and I met, and her and I definitely have a good chemistry when it comes to working out, food, mm -hmm. living life. And I think we do a really good job sharpening each other up. So we thought we'd share it with you guys. 100%. So Scott is a black belt in jujitsu and I have been doing functional training for probably about 15 years and we just kind of balance each other out. He beats me up on the mats, I beat him up for the weights. Yep, she does. Actually, we did a workout today and we usually do three or four rounds and today Melissa was like, we're doing four. And I never complain, so I was all about it. And it's good, because she pushes me. And I bring her back a little bit. It's kind of interesting, it works out. <laughs> and then you have this dog. This is Duke. He's our mascot. You'll see him in a lot of videos, too. And he's got to get in the pillows. It's gotta be in the right position. So, it was interesting because Melissa, and I would do workouts, and then it took me about a month or two, I don't wanna to say to convince, but to just try rolling around on the mats. Basically, he showed up with a gi and was like, who would you try this on? <laughs> That's right. Like, Here we go, it and, started. And I got her a belt, I think like I tied her in with the belt. <laughs> he is adamant. She needs attention right now. Come here. What are you doing? Like, screw you guys. Come here. Are you, are you camera shy? Come here. Look at that face. Of your way. <laughs> He's like, you're watching me. I'm just going to lay down. <laughs> oh, that was great. It was great. So I strapped her in. And so I'll let Melissa explain it. But we started it out because I know she's got some trauma in her life that she's had. And we had a couple moments where we had to take a step back and figure out like how we could address it. Cause I know it's been an issue for a little while or a long, long time. Long time. And so another thing that you could talk about is, you know, your Air Force, um, work out and what you did to pass it and you know what else you've done to kind of push through some of those hurdles and it's interesting that you got to this point and then now I can see a big change in how you handle certain situations and when certain situations are put in front of you yeah and um it's I think it's been a full circle a lot of growth like for me too as well how to handle things and because Melissa's very calm when it comes to confrontation and life instead of flipping out because that's usually what I do. I usually flip out and go crazy. But not Melissa. Melissa's very well keyed and yeah, so yeah. Tell me more about that. 
Um, if you're okay with it. Okay. So I was doing a marketing project for the special ops unit down here at Ellington base. And I basically, I was very good friends with the commander and he happened to share the target demographics with me and said that they wouldn't be looking for women because they can't pass the physical assessment. And I was like, hand it over. Like, let me look at it. And, uh, I, I had been training really hard and I had, it's interesting, I had a lot of questions about what I was, what my goals were and I didn't really have a goal. So I decided to set my goal to pass the Air Force Special Ops test. And I trained for probably six months. I ran the test three or four times and it's by far the hardest physical thing I've had to do. I know they've changed it since I ran it last, but it took a lot of time and dedication and it was uh, it was a lot of work. But during that time, I had a shoulder injury from doing towel pull-ups and I was trying to figure out how to heal it as fast as I could. And I had some training partners that drug me to mechanics calisthenics gym and we did fire and ice there, which is ice bathing and sauna time. And Scott and I just finished that at the house just why my hair is wet and I'm in a row, but we just did some recovery here and it's basically, it's three minutes in an ice bath and then about 15 minutes in a sauna at uh, approximately 200, 220 degrees. And you do three rounds of that and you end with a dunk in the ice. And uh, it was amazing how quickly that um, helped heal my shoulder, but I also found that the more impressive gains were actually mentally for me. Um, because if you can sit in a bucket of ice for more than three minutes, you can pretty much handle any situation. And that's one thing that's really translated for me. And I did have some trauma when I was younger. Um, didn't deal with it until later, until after I had been gotten divorced. And it's been, it hasn't been a straight path. <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but that's that's one thing that I've noticed helped. The BJJ has definitely helped. Scott's been very good about that. Um, especially like the thing that I've noticed is triggers is just really my body having a memory and not really being in control of what my body does or my heart rate or those things when I am triggered by something. And a lot of the work, uh, with jujitsu, sometimes it's just figuring out why why I got triggered, or really in any situation. So that's a little bit of my background and a little bit of how we've interacted. Yeah. And some of the goals that we have, but really we just want to be healthy and have fun too. So. Yeah, and I actually I mentioned her in an article I read about you know some past memories that don't come up till later, and it's been a. Um, it's been a help and I think this is where the channel really thrives upon is not only self growth, but couples growth. So a thing that I like about what we do a lot is when we train in the gym together, she has a lot of things that, you know, she's been doing functional training for 12 odd years. And this is where it's kind of funny because I've been training for 12 years or so on the mats and her and I can go off each other a little bit when we're on each other's side um, of the gym. And I like that because I'm not perfect when it goes over to the gym. And just recently, it's only been about two years now that I've been really hitting the, you know, the weights in the gym hard. And for her to show me some new light and some new skills and some new movement has been just a jump in gains, I guess, if you will. And I'm really grateful for that. So I say that because we get a lot of looks and comments, I think, at the gym. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, that's what we do and it's all about. But it's kind of inspirational. And that's what I think this whole relationship is too. And I like to bring that, you know, this energy into the videos that we provide for you guys. And yeah, it's all about growth. That's the biggest thing. Because her and I have the same background too, like being divorced and having to go through some family issues too. Her and I are both going through some family stuff, you know, it being the holidays right now. And yeah. Um, yeah, so it's all about growth. And we like to communicate a lot through that too. And I think communication is key. I'm not trying to make this into a whole like 
you know, psychiatric uh, video, but um, yeah, it's, it's a good place. And like I said, when we first met, it was about the fire and ice, because I did a lot of ice bathing too when I was um, in Fresno, and we kind of caught on there, and a lot of people, there's a lot, I, I see a lot more people doing it out here actually, yeah. I've seen. I kind of run in a gym crowd though. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. We no, have, that's true. We have a whole group of, it seems like, a little bit of outliers. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I think I think you do it the best way when it comes to fire and ice. And on top of that, we'll sh I think you guys have seen it in some of the videos that we've uploaded, is that Melissa actually did a really good job creating a ice plunge freezer. Did I say that right? Chest freezer plunge? Yeah. Same, same. Same, same. But... I mean, you don't have to buy ice, you don't have to throw it in a tub, and it's temperature controlled. She likes projects, I like projects, and it was a good, once again, building, you know, I don't know, building fun together, I guess. So, yeah, it's very convenient. We don't have to go out too often. We kind of hang in our own crowd. We do some really fun things. Exactly. Like today, yeah. we just did a three-mile walk in the woods. Yeah. Like, I live close by the park, and we're in the middle of the city, but it doesn't feel like it, so... That's one thing that we do as well. And I think a lot of it has to do with the mindfulness. And I found a lot of relief in just moving. And it's helped me a lot. So it's nice to learn new ways to move um, from Scott. And I know we do yoga and we mm. do a bunch of other things as well. Like mm -hmm. there's just, I've just found a lot of relief mm -hmm. in moving my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's. That's one thing that I like too. Um, we really don't go out to bars. We kind of go hang out with friends every once in a while, but mainly the day just goes, wake up, work, gym, go out for a walk, go to bed and repeat. And I've that's been my whole life, to be honest. Like I'm very habitual when it comes to the schedule because I don't have time to, for that, my body. We've all, we've all had past experiences of what it was like to be a teenager and yeah. you know, in the 20s, so. I think her and I want to live a very good life. And since we're on the topic, and this is going to be a long video, Melissa also does these things for reasons because um, I've had a um, I've had experience with autoimmune disorder, and I know Melissa not only has autoimmune, but she also has to deal with blood clots. Yeah. Do you want to go into that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so I was diagnosed with lupus when I was about 25 and I had a, I had a catastrophic blood clotting event when I was 21 and it was caused by, um, antiphospholipid syndrome, which is, um, something that almost every person that has APS has lupus. So it's been an ongoing battle trying to figure out how to manage my health without being put on chemo treatments and um, just a lot of change in diet. So uh, gluten-free before it was the cool thing to do. Um, it's interesting, I do find how how much of a difference that does make when we do have gluten full things, mm -hmm. like I can feel it the next day. Mm -hmm. um, have played a little bit with a keto diet, have played with pretty much all sorts of different kinds of diets. So. Um, I really believe that food is a key medicine that we can use and it ties in really well to what we're constantly doing. Yeah. And we like to upload those videos too, as well, because we're really proud of what we make and, yeah. you know, like she said, diet is a really good key. We actually went out to Indian one day, an Indian place to get some food and we had some non and then the next day, like I remember too, the joints, the energy was, we were demolished, Yeah, you know, so... We, we try to be strict. You know, there's some days we all have fun and whatnot, but the diet really makes a big difference. Yeah. And I'm, she keeps me in check because I like, you know, I like the candy and all that. All the gummy worms. All the gummy worms. All the Oreos. Dirt cups. Dirt cups, yeah. We're the little kids when it we comes are. to that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, you've been a really, it's crazy learning your journey and what you kind of had to fight, fight through, but it just shows... You know, if you are good to your body and you feed it good things, um, you know, we've seen some really good things. Yeah. Yeah, out of that. So. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anything else you want to talk about? I don't have a lot to add. I think we covered a lot of things. And if yeah. we missed anything, we'll cover it in another video. Yeah, so that's the goal. We're going to try to upload some fun stuff. We like to keep the shorts fun, you know, because that's the new thing on YouTube right now. It's yeah. kind of fun. We'll definitely clickbait you guys a little bit because we got Miss Hot stuff here. So she's she's yeah. always fun doing some. But you're doing some cool. You do some really cool movements that no one else yeah. does. I think that's important too. We actually, really quick, we went to the gym today on the four round workout, and we saw some guy doing some band, band deadlift, banded de deadlifts. Yeah. And like, she's coming over to me. She's like, I can show him what the right way to do is. And it's true because she's even put me on a couple things. Um, man, some chest workout bands, ab band workouts. I mean, you name it, you got it. You got yeah. something for it. And the nice thing too is like, if you're fighting injury, I'm definitely the human to talk to because yeah. I've had to hit the reset button so many times because of my health history mm -hmm. that um, I've just learned alternate movements for everything. <laughs> So she was actually battling a shoulder. So here's the funny thing. She was actually battling a elbow slash shoulder injury from jujitsu when we were first starting out. Cause she goes a billion percent, you know, she, she really does. And it's good. Like I've never rolled or worked out with someone. I mean, as talented and as strong as you are. And, and it's not just because you're a female, but like really it's, it's a very, you know, it's astronomical how, how much you're, you've been able to grow in that. And I've had to deal with a shoulder injury and those warm ups that we do. She's got a really good warm up that we do daily. And those really have been able to heal us. They ward off injury. They really do. Yeah. And that's a big thing because in the community, it's just like roll, roll your arms around, run around the thing a couple times and like, let's go. But we do like a 15, 20 minute yeah, it is. warm up. We also cool down though, like we do yeah, yoga. yoga. We have a yoga mm. stretch routine at the end that takes about ten minutes, and it's just a nice way to like cool down and also uh, to stretch everything out. Helps prevent injury. I think we should show that too. I think that would be a good warm, you know, cool down video to do. Yeah. Maybe we could speed that up or something. I have a few of those. I think. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, just going through her and I, and yeah. Yeah, we're having a good experience, so why not come yeah. along? We have an Instagram account. We kind of throw on some more photos of food on that one than anything. We are. There's lots of food. So if you like food porn, check us out there. Yeah, it's for real, too. Like, we come up with some random good stuff. Like, last night. So we like these dirt cups with the whole pudding and gummy yeah. worms and stuff. But I threw in an Oreo with a toothpick with a marshmallow on top. Roasted. <laughs> Roasted. Roasted. He got me a butane torch for my birthday. I think he got it for himself. <laughs> it was for you. Yeah, it was. But still, <laughs> you never know. Anyway, uh, thank you for letting me do this video. Yeah. Yeah, it no was problem. fun. Awesome. All right. I'll yeah. get better at these, I promise. Oh, I think this was good. This is all going in it. So. Okay. With that, you guys, have a good one, and we'll see you later.